experimental establishment of the required number of experiments per point in determining the thermal fluctuation constants of the generalized Cherkov for the method of direct temperature and control point. Introduction. Various forecasting methods are used to determine the durability of building materials. However, the concept of thermal vibrations of solid fracture and deformation is currently becoming widespread. In order to carry out prediction within its framework, an experimental determination of four thermal fluctuations constants included in the generalized Cherkov equation is required. The very method of determining the thermoflexual constants of the generalized Cherkov equation is quite time-consuming. To obtain reliable results, it is necessary to obtain a dependence of durability on stress at least at three test temperatures of the sample. Considering that at least five points are also required for each temperature, for each of which at least six samples are tested, a hundred samples are eventually tested. Due to the fact, the classical method of determining thermal fluctuations constants is labor-intensive a technique was proposed that allows determining constants from one direct temperature and one control point at a different temperature. The technique is based on the linearity hypothesis of angular coefficients of direct temperatures, constructed in the coordinates of the logarithm of time from voltage. Due to the fact that the method is new, it is required to establish the required number of experiments conducted under identical conditions to obtain a point in the coordinates Lg tau sigma. The object of this study is the thermal fluctuation constants determined by the direct and temperature method. The subject of the study is to determine the required number of experiments. The aim of the study is to reduce the complexity of conducting experiments while maintaining the necessary accuracy of determining the thermal fluctuation constants by the direct and temperature method. To achieve this goal, it is necessary to solve a number of tasks. To determine the thermal fluctuation constants for different initial experimental data. To analyze the results obtained. Specify the required minimum number of experiments conducted under identical conditions to obtain a single point in the coordinates. Lg tau sigma. Methodology. Thermal fluctuations constants were determined for polyvinyl chloride plates at transverse bending. To establish the minimum number of experimental trials to obtain one point for constructing a straight line, as well as to select a control temperature at which only one point is determined, it is possible and sufficient to establish the relationship between the number of experiments and the obtained deviations in constant values. For this purpose, thermal fluctuations constants are determined at the given direct temperature in coordinates Lg tau sigma, in this case T equals 15 degrees Celsius, the sample of the original data for which gradually increased by one value, and points at a different temperature, the number of experiments per point 16. The initial sample consisted of eight values, which are given in. For example, for the first set of data, a straight line is drawn from the points obtained in the tests of nine samples, and the point value at a different temperature is taken from the data obtained in the tests of 16 samples. Further, the data obtained from the tests of 10 samples, etc. are used. Thermal fluctuations constants were determined in a program made in the form of a web application and available. The program automatically performed statistical data processing at a confidence probability of 95%. The set of values of thermal fluctuations constants at different number of tests carried out under identical conditions per one point is shown in Table 1. Values of deviations of thermal fluctuations constants from their average value are given in Table 2. In addition, it is necessary to find the values of deviations of the thermal fluctuation constants from the values taken as reference. The results obtained are included in Table 3. Conclusions. Analysis of the obtained values of tau 0, tables 2 and 3, namely their significant spread, from 1. 31 to 64. 06% relative to the average value and from 3. 14 to 58, 03% relative to the reference value allows us to conclude that the accuracy of determining the location of the control point significantly affects the final result of determining the thermal fluctuation constants. In addition, the analysis of the data obtained shows that with an increase in the sample, the values of gamma and U0 decrease by 18% and by 15.28%, respectively. 
regardless of the selected control point, with the same number of experiments conducted at one point, the values of the thermal fluctuation constant gamma remain constant. At the same time, the values of U0 change. Thus, the results obtained allow us to conclude that the considered method for determining thermal fluctuation constants can be applied in cases where it is necessary to determine their approximate values with insignificant labor costs. To increase accuracy, it is necessary to use other techniques. Thanks for your attention.